Hello everyone, I'm Brian from WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to take a look at DeWalt's new 20 volt max 7 and a quarter inch brushless circular saw. This saw has been upgraded with a brushless motor and it also comes with a blade break. We got this saw on a kit and the part number is DCS570P1. The P1 tells you that it comes with one 5.0 amp hour battery, a charger, and a case. In this video, we're going to go over some quick specs. We're going to get up close and personal with this saw, walk around it. Then we'll show you some similarities from the 20 volt max to the flex volt saw. We'll talk about some of our testing and then give you our overall conclusion at the end. So to start off with some quick specs, the saw has 5,500 RPMs and a max depth of cut at 90 degrees of two and nine sixteenths inches. It's capable of a 57 degree bevel and will accept the DeWalt four, uh, 20 volt max or flex volt battery. When you first look at the saw, the high strength aluminum shoe on the bottom really stands out because it is very bright. The markings on it are very easy to read and the cut lines are very precise and stand out really nice. So the bevel adjustment here is also like the flex volt, but the colors seem to make everything stand out a bit more. You have a stop or detent at 22 and a half, another stop at 45 and a positive stop at the end at 57 degrees. You have this scale on your actual shoe side that is pretty generic, gives you kind of five degree uh, increments, but on the other side you have a second scale that allows you to get down to one degree in, uh, increments. So it's really nice and easy to use and if you want to be precise you can use the second scale and you're right there. Moving the saw around you have an auxiliary handle that's angled so it's very ergonomic when you're using two hands and the arbor lock is kind of hidden in between out of the way. The depth of cut is in the back, again very easy to use, slides very nice and there is an ambidextrous safety on the trigger. This would be nice if it stuck out just a little more, but it's exactly the same as the flex volt. Pretty easy to use and it doesn't take a lot of force to push down. Now everything on this saw is metal, including your blade guard. So it's gonna take the abuse at the job site. There is a tool that's hidden in the bottom so you can change the blade. While this saw lacks the coveted rafter hook that many people want to see, it does have a nice LED in the front uh, that lights up your cut line and makes for easy cutting even in bright situations. Really when you look at the new 20 volt max saw and you place the flex volt saw beside it, they're almost identical. Basically, they changed the anodizing on the aluminum, so you have different colors on the flex volt saw. And if you really start to move them around and look at them, you'll find that the flex volt has a couple extra pieces of rubber overmold that the 20 volt max does not. But while they look the same, they definitely do not have the same power. Because these two saws are so similar, it gives you an idea that maybe the 20 volt max saw will be just about as powerful as the flex volt saw. But we found that not to be the case, especially when we put it to a test with three pieces of three quarter inch OSB stacked on top of each other. Uh, in most of our other cuts, the 20 volt max saw was plenty powerful enough to continue to make all the cuts, to perform well on the job site, it's just not going to cut at its maximum capacity for long periods of time without a little bit of a struggle. Also while testing, we wanted to grab the flex volt battery to say what happens if we put our nine amp hour 20 volt battery on here, will we gain some power or will we get close to what the flex volt can do? And the answer to that is no, we didn't see a lot more of an increase in power, but what we did see is a significant increase in runtime. So we tried to test this in all the different ways that were out there, but if you're gonna go out and invest in a flex volt battery, 99% chance says that you're gonna invest in the flex volt circular saw, which I think is going to be an excellent option since it has a lot of power and some great runtime in itself. This saw is gonna be meant for the guy who didn't upgrade to the flex volt, wants to upgrade his circular saw or get into a nice brushless circular saw that has a good blade break on it. The blade break is awesome, allows you to sit things down and kind of speed up your workflow a little bit more. Uh, the 20 volt battery on here, the five amp hour worked well. You're gonna get a long day's cut if you're just working on single sheets of OSB or if you're cross cutting two by fours, two by sixes, even two by twelves. It has no issue and doesn't struggle with any of that. 
It's overall a very nice saw, uh, and I think that a lot of people will like it. Just don't think that you're going to get the same power out of this as you will the FlexVolt. Stop by WorkshopAddict.com. We have a lot more information on th this saw and many others. Uh, also, follow us on social media. We have a lot of giveaways going on, a lot of good information out there on products and tools and projects. So thanks for your time, guys. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to this channel. Have a great day.